this is part of our environmental campaign, and um, it's uh, the shower demonstration goes all over the country, and uh, it's been on hiatus for a while because it's been really cold. But <laughs> but so this is its uh, its first tour in 2009. We were um, in San Antonio yesterday, and then um, we're going to Beaumont tomorrow, and then we'll leave for Louisiana. <laughs> well, there are, you know, are meat eaters everywhere, and uh, this was a great location to come out and just let people know that uh, the best way that they can take care of their own bodies, you know, millions of animals a year who are slaughtered, and for the environment, um, is to go vegetarian. Uh, people are shocked when they find out just how much of an impact they can make by what they purchase at the grocery store. So um, Corpus Christi is as good as any when it comes to uh, great outreach. Uh, we're just letting people know that um, if they're worried about their water usage and water consumption, uh, they need to go vegetarian. People are floored when they find out that it takes almost 2,500 gallons of water to make only one pound of meat. So every time a person skips that pound of meat, they're saving more water than if they were to skip showers for six whole months. And they'll smell and feel better too. <laughs> She says that, uh, you know, they use a lot of water to clean meat. I would have to agree. <laughs> Actually, I just had a big bowl of menudo, and I'm very full. <laughs> I am pro-meat. I like meat. Uh, His family owns a, a, a cattle ranch. Yeah, as my, my, I come from a very rich uh, cultural background of ranching and farming, and my family does own uh, slaughterhouses, and, and you know, we raise beef for slaughter and, and, uh, and then my family thrives off of that. We, it's been a way of our life for hundreds of years as where if, if we could all grow onions and potatoes but that takes a lot of water too. Um, so I mean people got to eat, got to get your protein and uh, beef, meat, chicken, pork. It's delicious but I guess whatever floats your boat. Well there's not very many vegans or vegetarians in Corpus Christi to begin with and you know so in a lot of ways it's good to have any group come come by and, and talk about the the benefits whether it's the animal rights issues or the health issues or you know, I guess they're focused on the environmental issues and the water waste um, issues with the animal production so it's good in that there's a variety of reasons I mean there's many reasons to avoid meat products or animal products um, and you know hopefully people will choose their take their choice whether it's for the animals themselves or for the environment or for your personal health um, so I think that's good to have a variety of reasons out there as to you know why this is something that you should consider <laughs> well, it's hard to tell she Naked. I mean, just other than the towel and the high heels. Uh, I don't think. So. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I think she is. <laughs> you think she is? I don't think. I so. think she is. She wouldn't be holding on to that towel like that if she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs>